Hi everybody, I'm Rosemary and in today's video I have 15 gift baskets and sets for Mother's Day, all new for 2021. In addition, I have also created a sister companion video to this one featuring 10 Mother's Day craft DIY ideas to create beautiful and personalized gifts that everyone on your mom's day list is sure to love. I'll leave a link here and also in the description, but for now, let's jump into some gift basket ideas. Let's begin with some of these on-trend bee-themed containers. Dollar Tree had these adorable bee boxes with a little hive print and little buzzing bees, as well as the ceramic container with an embossed hived pattern and a gold lid. Both of these make great options as containers for the high-end chocolate that Dollar Tree continues to carry, like Russell Stover, Ghirardelli, Ferrer Rocher, and Godiva. First, I'm gonna take the little bee box and place the lid on the bottom. Then I'll fill the container with shred, and I'm gonna start with the two Godiva chocolates. There's one caramel and one dark chocolate. And then I'll add this new Godiva chocolate that they're featuring to the front. It's like a dark chocolate truffle and then the Ghirardelli to one side and the Ferrer Rocher to the other. Now for the smaller container, I'll just use two of the Godivas and then I'll add that third Godiva in the front and then maybe a couple of these Russell Stovers to each side. Alternately, the chocolates can be laid down flat in the container and just capped off with the lids to create a gift box, which actually seems to be a growing trend in gift sets. And then here you can see the options, packaged and decorated for gift giving. In the center, you can see the more traditional style with the items arranged in the container and wrapped in cellophane with a bow and tag on top. For the other two, the containers are closed, taking advantage of the beautiful packaging and topped off with ribbons and tags. The yellow ribbon is from Dollar Tree and both of the black and white ribbons came from Michaels. I created and printed the tags on my computer and I will have a link in the description for a free printable. If you would like to see more wrapping and packaging tips, or are just not a fan of Dollar Tree items and would like to see some pro tips on how to create beautiful gift baskets no matter where you purchase the components, be sure to check out this video that I will link here and in the description. But for now, let's check out yet another adorable box option from Dollar Tree. These are little purses. They come in several different colors and multiple different sizes. I think there's two more in between these two sizes. This is the largest and the smallest. And in this larger one, I was able to find matching uh, hand cream that fits really nicely in there with a little bit of tissue paper. And then that's it, it's ready to go. And then in the smaller box, I was able to find some of these adorable little bath bombs. And again, they just fit perfectly in that smaller box ready for gift giving. Dollar Tree also had these beautifully packaged bamboo and rose water facial beauty products from Bolero. They have a toner, mask, a jelly, and serum. And the four components fit beautifully in these craft trays that you can get in the craft section. I just added a little shred. And then you can see the two bottles there on each end and then the other two pieces in the middle and it fits perfectly inside the tray. Up next and also from Bolero are these beautifully packaged bath sets that come in pink and blue and I'm going to use one of the Dollar Tree white organizer bins. These are the ones that come two for a dollar and I filled it with some white shred and for the pink one I'm going to use a tube of the body wash and body scrub and then top it off with a jar of the body yogurt. And then for the blue one, I'll again use the body wash and scrub, but this time I'm gonna to top it off with one of these beautiful rose-shaped bath poofs that I also got from Dollar Tree. If you would like to see some more beauty gift ideas, I have done oodles of these in past videos, and I will provide a link here, as well as in the description if you'd like to check those out. But for now, let's check out this cute little gift for the beach-loving mama on your list. Dollar Tree had this ginormous cup that's not only great for keeping mom hydrated in the hot sun, but also large enough to make a perfect gift container. And so I just filled the bottom of the cup with some shred, or you can just use some tissue paper there at the bottom. And I am going to place the straw there to the back and just kind of position it in place. And you can also tape it down in the back. And then mom's going to need some snacks. So I'm going to add a bag of this skinny pop here to the back. And of course I did select the one in the blue packaging. And then of course some sunscreen, again, blue packaging, some blue sunglasses, and then some sun-kissed 
drink mix to fill up that ginormous cup. And then here is another beach slash pool option. This time with this fabulous light up cup. Look at this thing. You push the bottom and it lights up. Now, how much fun is that? You can't really see it too well. I'm trying to create some shade there so you can see it, but it does light up quite brightly. And it's just a fun little option along with these pink flip-flops with a tropical print. And since mom's feet are going to need to be looking summertime pretty, how about adding a little pedicure set there to one side and then some of this jelly nutrient spritz to the other to keep mom's skin nice and hydrated and some hot pink sunglasses to top it off. I wanted to use this adorable beach bag as a container, but it is a little bit large, at least for creating a gift basket, because remember the larger the container, the more components that you'll have to add. And also it's not very rigid, so I needed something to hold the shape. So I took this soda bottle and I cleaned it out and also removed the top of the bottle with a utility knife. Now I can wrap the bag around the bottle and that will give my bag the rigidity and shape that I need it. And then I'll secure the bag in the back with some packing tape. And then I just added the components and these do sit pretty well in the container. But if you do want a more secure hold, of course, you can always tape them down. And I do prefer to use double sided tape. Now, if the mom or moms on your list are gardeners, these little potted plants make great options. You can just wrap them with a bow and they're a gift in themselves or add two or three of them together and make a little tower. Also, they're great just with a Dollar Tree planter, maybe some gloves. You can put one of those little pots in and then maybe one of the Dollar Tree tools or something of that nature. And of course, if you watch my videos, you know I like to remove that retail packaging for a more professional look. And there you go, a cute little gardening gift for about $5. Next up is a large gardening set, this time using the Dollar Tree watering can as the container. And so I'm going to use several of the other Dollar Tree gardening items, including the different tools, the kneeling pad, some gloves, and then some seeds. So I'll start with the kneeling pad to the back, of the container and then I'll place one of the shovels right into the handle, the other on the spout and these all can be taped into place. I'm then going to take the two uh, gardening shears, add those to the back of the kneeling pad and then place the rake there in the middle. Next I'll take the seed packets and place those uh, two to each side and then one there in the middle and again these are all being taped into place either uh, just regular tape or I prefer, like I mentioned before, the double-sided tape. And then you can just add some gloves there right to the front. And then for a finishing touch, how about a little gardening sun hat there to the top? Now, if you have some foodies on your list, how about a cute little baking set, starting with this mixing bowl with spout and then this delicious looking brownie cookie mix. Oh my goodness, you're going to have to try those. Now what I want to do is put that right there to the back and then I'll add some mixing cups to the one side, a little spatula on the other to mix everything up, some measuring spoons to balance it out, and this absolutely adorable love cooking dish towel to add a finishing touch. And if you would like to see ideas on other baking and cooking gift sets as well as food gifts in general, I have again done oodles of those in previous videos, which I will link here and also in the description if you'd like to check those out. For the next gift set, I'm going to start with this faux marble desk organizer that I found in the office supply section at the Dollar Tree, where they also had this book filled with beautiful quotes about mothers and a pen with a rose on top in this pretty lavender color. Lastly, a spiral journal notebook completes the set. And any journaling session is always enhanced with a nice cup of coffee. And this next set is a great gift for any coffee lover on your list. To start, Dollar Tree has these terrific travel mugs that are customizable. They give you instructions there along the side and you can add photos or sayings or handprints or anything that you like to this container. You just unscrew the lid and then the little template there pops out and that's what you either trace or um, draw on and then you can add it, personalize it and add it back to the mug. 
And then for this set, I'm again going to be making use out of a recyclable. This time it's a water bottle that I cut down to size, again using a utility knife. And I cut it so that it's tall enough to accommodate this dish towel with this adorable print. It has all different types of coffee and a polka dot background. And I'm just going to wrap it around the bottle like I did the beach bag previously and use some packing tape to secure it in the back. And then I added the coffee and the mug. And of course you wanna personalize that first before putting it in your gift bag. And I also added some of these Hello Panda cookies there to the side. And now here you can see the set with the cup now sporting a queen bee motif. And this is just one of the templates that I do in the companion sister video to this video featuring 10 craft DIY Mother's Day gift ideas. So if you wanna get the lowdown on the queen bee and other templates as well as some other great gift ideas, you definitely wanna check that out. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the Mother's Day gift baskets and sets video for 2021. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a big thumbs up and please let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And don't forget to check out the sister video to this video with the DIY crafts that you can link here and also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.